I'm on my way. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm back on YouTube, but I'm just, I'm not back on YouTube, just all regular. I moved to London. You heard that right. I moved to London about three days ago. Yeah, because this is day three. Uh, so I moved to London. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so like I said, this is uh, day three of living in London. I tried to record some day ones and day twos uh, before, but this one's really working, I think because I was like super exhausted and just like overwhelmed. But now I feel just a little bit better. I am getting a second master's degree. Um, I'm so excited about this. Like I've always wanted to live in London. I lived overseas before when I was a child and I moved around a lot. But London, visiting London, and it just felt like the place to be. So I am here, and I'm ready to just enjoy this new journey and chapter of my life. So yeah, just to get into some other couple of things I'm going to do today. Actually, let's backtrack what I did the first two days I was here. I had to get a lot of things done just so I can feel like I had a little bit of a home in my flat. So I was able to go and get some, a few bed sheets. I still need some more stuff for my bedding. Um, a little stuff for the bathroom just to get me, you know, cleaned. <laughs> and just kind of a little something while I'm here, nothing extensive. I, I do need to get my Nespresso machine. If you know me, you know I love coffee and tea, but I love Nespresso. And so I have to get my Nespresso machine at some point in time. And then um, a tea kettle, because you know, I need some hot water and some pots and some pans and just all that kind of stuff. And grocery shopping as well. So I'm getting adjusted to that. I am trying my hardest not to miss Target. <laughs> in some of my other grocery stores I used to go to or just other places where I can just walk in and get something real quick I'm trying to figure out all the different stores and where to buy stuff where to get stuff and if all else fails there's always Amazon so um, yeah I'll just get stuff off of Amazon so I'm gonna do a little stuff today I also have to pick up my biometrics um, ID card and in another video I will talk about my visa process and my testimony for that and the story behind that because it was a journey to get here. It's been a an interesting couple of months um, to get here. And so I will share my visa journey and story later on at some other point in time. But um, yeah, that's that. Day one, I went to a really huge mall. And I'll just leave it at that. The mall was humongous. And I just thought I was gonna walk in, go to Primark, Primark, Primark. I, we had one in Philadelphia, and I love that store. So I thought I was gonna go in, get some real quick, but it was a very overwhelming experience. I went to M and S because I was looking for some things. I have stories to tell about my first couple of days here, my first two days here, um, and I can share those at other times. But man, ugh. and then like day two, I was trying to find stuff. I went to Amazon Fresh on day two. So cool. Amazon Fresh was really cool. Not a typical, you know, big, huge grocery store type of vibe, but I would definitely go there to get little things or just like stuff that I need immediately. I would go there and get stuff. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. There's been a lot going on. I'm gonna have to sit down and actually go through uh, some of the stuff I've been through the, the, pa the past two days. But yeah, so today I'm going to run some errands. I feel like I'm just babbling. I'm just like super excited. But today I'm just going to run some errands, uh, get the ID card, the BRP. I think it's called BRP, the biometrics card. Yeah, I have to get that. And then I'm just going to get all the other little essentials that I need. And um, that's that. I'll check in later. Alright, so I just picked up 
my ID card. Um, very easy process, super simple. So now I'm gonna go get some coffee. One of my friends gave me a gift card to um, Costa Coffee. I think it's the name of it. And I've been there before, so I'm gonna go there and get something to eat from there, get a little sandwich or something, and some coffee, of course. So I was able to check off one thing on my checklist, and now I just need to do everything else. I hope this hat doesn't look too big. Um, <laughs> but now I just need to do everything else on my checklist for today. I'm not gonna overwhelm myself with a whole bunch of to, like, to do things. <laughs> uh, so yeah. All right, I'll check back in. Good morning, good afternoon. I don't, I don't know what time it is. Um, yeah, so what day is this? I don't know. I'm here in London. Um, this might be day five or day six. And um, yeah, I am settling, settling in and adjusting pretty well uh, to this new life here. I just did a, um, an Amazon fresh order for like a whole bunch of cases of water because I don't have a car so I can't just go to the grocery store put a whole bunch of water in there in my car and go home so um and I feel like carrying cases <laughs> and I also can't find those little shopping carts those like fabric shopping cart trolley type things um in the area that I'm in so I have to go out and find one so because I don't have one of those I need to order those things and have them delivered to me um, big items so that's that and then today actually I don't have anything to do today so I think I'm just gonna stay in my flat I'm just gonna stay here all day maybe work out or something like that read um, and just kind of relax the you know the first few days being here I definitely hit the ground running with running errands and trying to make myself as, as comfortable as possible here to make to make it feel as much as home as I can um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's also cloudy as well today. Um, yeah, a little bit cloudy, but, uh, yeah, so I have nothing really going on today. I'm just gonna, um, oh, one thing I did do for the first time yesterday, I cooked dinner last night in my flat. I don't know why that, it's, it's exciting to me, um, because I kept eating out a lot and I really love cooking. I like I prefer being at home cooking and saving my money. So um, I was able to cook last night. I went to M&S and I bought like a seven, seven pound meal deal. Not sure if I'm saving that much money, but it worked out for me because I was able to have two meals. So some leftovers for today. I did a stir fry type of thing with like some beef and some rice noodles, some veggies and they give you the sauce. The sauce wasn't enough, but it was still pretty, pretty delicious. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then now I'm about to make some breakfast. I got some eggs. Oh, let me tell you about the eggs. 
the eggs are not in the refrigeration refrigerator section in the grocery store so yeah so when I actually found the eggs I opened the carton and it was a feather inside can't get more real than that um, yeah yeah so that's just the day today nothing much nothing much going on today so Oh, and the other thing is, I finally got my Nespresso machine. I love Nespresso. I'm super excited about this. Now I really feel like I'm at home. I have my tea kettle. Um, I have, a, what else? A toaster and a water filter jug. Um, so I don't always have to buy a whole bunch of packs of water like I did today. But... will say I'm gonna miss I'm gonna have to ask my parents to send it to me but um, grits I need my grits <laughs> I need my grits so uh, I'm gonna have to ask my parents to send me some grits cuz I'm in need of that thanks unless if any of y'all watching y'all you are from the UK and you know where I can buy some grits please let me know I do know I heard that there was um, I saw on a map that there was an American food store um, in London, so I'm going to check that out and see what kind of things that they have uh, that will make it really feel like home, but I really need my grits, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really hoping that um, happens for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to eat some breakfast and chill out. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Wow. Uh... I'm actually up. I think I got over my jet lag. And so I am actually up before 11 a.m. I've had a few couple of mornings where I've gotten up around like 1 p.m. or like 2 p.m. So it's pretty nice to get up um, a little early to get the day started. Yesterday I didn't go anywhere as planned. I stayed in, I worked out, um, just worked on some other things I read um, I didn't go anywhere which means I didn't spend any money because <laughs> I swear leaving out of your flat in London leaving out of your home in London every day will cost you okay it will cost you it has been super expensive <laughs> to leave the house because <laughs> you just want to buy everything or you just want to do everything um, you can never just have a day where you're not spending money. So I will be spending money today because I have to leave out and run errands and do stuff. I'm going to finally get a hose connector for the shower head that I bought. So I'm going to do that. And, um, and that, I forgot what part of town that is, but there's this place called Tool Station. So I'm going to try to go there. And if that doesn't work, then I will go to a place called Argos. Yeah, Argos. I think that's what it's called, Argos. So I will go there. And then I have to buy some more groceries because I need to make dinner tonight. And some more snacks. Stuff like that. So that is what I'm getting into. It is cloudy today. It's going to rain today. I have to buy rain boots. I got rid of the rain boots that I had because um, they were kind of a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm going to buy some nice rain boots, hopefully today. If not today, then sometime before uh, class starts. So yeah. And hangers. See, I told you it costs. It costs to leave the house. <laughs> I need to buy hangers so I can start hanging up some of my clothes. And then later on, I will get other organizational things for the clothes that don't need to be in hangers, for the stuff I have on like bookshelves and stuff, toiletries kind of stuff, and cleaning supplies. I need to buy organizational things. I need to buy organizational things for that. So that should be good. And then yeah, taking it easy. Again, taking it easy today. Taking it easy. Let's see y'all later. Just another day, 
All right, I actually made it out of the house today. And so I'm going to actually run my errand. <laughs> it did not take me super long to get where I needed to go. So I'm gonna go to tool station, get some home stuff. So yeah, check in when I get there. Good morning. So today I went to Buckingham Palace because um, um, the Queen had passed away yesterday. So I wanted to go to Buckingham Palace today just to see uh, what was going on and check that whole scene out. And now I'm going to Hyde Park to see what's going on over there. Um, yeah, it was a lot of people at Buckingham Palace today, but yeah. It's been quite an interesting day today. I went from Buckingham Palace to Hyde Park. I don't know why I thought Hyde Park was closer <laughs> or maybe because I took the long way, but yeah, so now I'm hot. <laughs> oh, it was interesting. I went to, they did the 21 gun salute. Uh, so that, that was cool. Only got, I heard a lot of it, but then when I got up to where they actually, where they were actually doing it, um, it was like almost over but I got to see some of it so that was that was interesting now since I'm already in this part of town I think I was gonna do some more sightseeing as if I am a tourist like I used to do when I used to come here and visit so I think I'm gonna go to Harrods <laughs> I know it's not really a touristy thing but I love Harrods so I'm gonna do that and see what else I can get into probably uh, I don't know, maybe hit it up in museum some stuff like that so I don't know see I'm gonna see what I can get into today I don't have anything to do today next week is when things start to get busier and the week after that classes start so I'm just taking it all in right now but it's just an interesting time to be here in this moment of history uh, so like wow really interesting so for like the next few days there's going to be different things going on, different events going on for the Queen. And then um, I was supposed to go to Buckingham Palace on Sunday. I was doing a tour inside, but that's going to be canceled. And I believe all palace um, places and historic places are closed for a couple of weeks. Yeah, they're closed for a couple of weeks. Um, but I think museums are open, other things are open. But I know my university said that when the day of the funeral is when university will be closed, other things will be closed. And then Westminster Abbey is where I think the funeral is going to take place for the, a couple of days. So I'm going to think I'm going to check that out as well. There was a lot of people. I feel like I'm the only person in this area in London wearing a mask. <laughs> but there was like so many people and I'm not trying to get sick, especially with this weather change. Like it's kind of cold out here sometimes and I went from like 90 degree weather to 60 lower 70s sometimes 50 degree weather that's the temperature here and I'm not trying to get sick um, so yeah I have my mask on <laughs> a lot of people don't but that's fine <laughs> I was gonna say safe yeah so I'm gonna head to Harrods I'm gonna try to head to Harrods and just explore I somehow got lost trying to find Harrods, but I'm back on track now. <laughs> I made it to Harrods. My favorite store ever. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gift shop because there's something I need to get from there. So this is going to be a quick trip to Harrods.
Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Uh, so this will be the last day of the vlog for the week. I am headed to church today. I'm going to check out Holy Trinity Brompton. Um, I have some friends who have told me, um, some stuff on my jeans, had some friends who have told me to go check out the church. And I watched their live streams. Um, I watched their live, their live streams back in the States, so I decided to go check it out. I'm going to go to the evening service instead of the morning or afternoon service because I was really busy and it was hard for me to get out of the bed this morning. <laughs> so I'm going to check that out. And yeah, so thank you all so much for tuning in with me this week. I feel like the vlog was all over the place as I was just exploring, exploring in a way of not being on vacation, but actually trying to settle in here and uh, live. <laughs> so uh, this morning I went to get some laundry detergent, uh, a little bit of shopping at Weight rows, things what it's called, weight weight rows, and then I also went to Boots because I needed to get some lotion and some shower gel and just other little things that I needed. So, yeah, I think I'm settling in pretty, pretty well now. I just have to wait until class starts, and I think class might be canceled because of the funeral for the queen. So yeah. I'm just here. So I will try to vlog this upcoming week. There probably won't be much going on. If I don't vlog this week, I'm definitely vlogging next week. Oh, and one thing I would like to say, it's hard to get lost in London. I've heard this plenty of times before. I needed to get back home and I, for some reason, well, not for some reason, I haven't switched my phone plan over to here yet and my I have no service, couldn't find any Wi-Fi. And then I thought about it, I was just like, the two, the, un, the uh, underground situation here in the map is so easy to navigate and understand. So I was able to make my way back home without GPS, without using City Mapper or Google Maps, anything like that. And I felt super confident. <laughs> I felt like it was such a win before my week. Uh, something that I just learned another great thing about London is the you know besides the, the tasty treats and all the food you can find your way to wherever you need to go without using any sort of maps or Google Maps or anything like that just know which station you are headed to, you know towards when you know that it's if you get lost on one train get off one and get on the other one like it's super easy to navigate so I didn't want to mention that. I want to mention that was my highlight this week. Making it back home. <laughs> and not really getting lost. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, one more thing. <laughs> this is the last thing. I'm, I desperately need certain types of food like, um, you know, grits, um, Lowry seasoned salt, um, just like my stuff. I can't find that stuff out here. Okay, I, I can't find that stuff out here. I'm just gonna say that. And there's a lot of other things that I feel like I need. Like the Dove body wash, they don't have all the scents like they do in America. And I get it, Dove is probably not the greatest for your skin, but I have my favorite one and it's the mango. It's like a mango type of a scent by Dove, uh, the Dove body wash. I'm gonna ask my parents to send that to me as well because they don't they have dove but they don't have that particular scent and they don't have a lots of other scents that I usually you know like it's been difficult trying to find my body wash and my lotions <laughs> I must be looking in the wrong places I have to be looking in the wrong places I feel like I've gone everywhere and the things that I need they ain't got it <laughs> they ain't got it not even on Amazon so yeah we will have to log back into my usa amazon account to order the stuff to have it delivered here to london okay signing off now <laughs> back back to whatever i was talking about before this week <laughs> yeah so uh thank y'all so much for tuning in with me in my first week of my new chapter in london i'll see you next time